What's up guys? It's not here, not anywhere. And today I'm gonna be giving the full rundown on PTS or Pop Chop Sluts. Now, PTS was formed by 21-year-old Chris and Cecilia and 21-year-old Nick Crawford, both on vocals. Now, uh, just in case the world ends, the documentary they um uh, Alter Ridge play guitar for them so Stan Harris now the drummer was never really um, the drummer was never really apparent throughout anything even if you look at hook, or even then he's not really mentioned I mean I looked through the whole thing and it's not really even mentioned, so that's that. And we're moving on to the murder history. Their first single, Zach and Cody, was released on November 9th, 2020. Now, their genre, I guess, you would consider them as alternative only because of the music it is and like the way it sounds. Um, the first single was more blown out rap and it was just kind of like an um, alternative rap song and so like going from that going from that then they started to make like more in the alternative direction of music and it kind of went towards that 2000 pop punk or anything to do with that and just kind of go uh, more with their instruments, deserve? more with the drums, or more deserve? alternative, less like, you know, who rap. You but at the same time, as you go, as they go, they're, they're making more singles that are similar to like 2000s music and stuff like that. But even just in case the world ends, the the first album, but I guess technically it's a double, technically it's an EP. But the Lux makes a double like e makes an album. So um, keeping that in mind when you look at that, there are like rap influences on there. Um, from Nick himself. You now because it said he was um, Christian. With you know singing and Nick with more the rap influence, um, I read on one of the articles on that one album, and the rest of it is really more um, so that was pop, like that was pop punk. I mean, it even said like. Yeah, they're more, they're highly, they're high in influence, like Panic at the Disco and stuff like that. I mean, that's like the very prime example of that stuff at that time. So, I mean, it's just like, those, those like, what, like, was really big at the time. I mean, Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, all those bands were, like, huge in the 2000s. So, like, when you listen to it, I mean, it probably doesn't sound exactly like it, but... I mean, nothing's gonna really sound exactly like it anymore. It's just like time, time has changed in music. But if you think about it, you can like hear, like hear certain aspects of like what they mean by that. So, um, moving on to that, they they will release the Gossip Team EP. But before that, they released a couple singles that would be that would go on Face for the Radio, their new album. So they released um, Sierra Echo X-Ray, Catastrophe, Catastrophe with Magnolia Park, <clears throat> and Better Sweet Teeth. So those three singles would be on the album, and those would go on there. Then they would he would. Um, pop stars, PTS, if you will, they will release one song called um, 
Break said go with Ultra Rich, which would then become a EP called Gossip Team because actually Ultra Rich is their producer, so fun fact right there. And so they make a EP, they make a little EP with him. And then they get a song on his some little al I guess album if you want to call it. Um, it's just really an EP because I think there's like maybe um, seven or nine songs on the little like record that he just released that came out. Um, but they're on there. It's called Drive. You check it out now. Um, I think that one was also pretty good. Um, I honestly don't think they have really a lot of misses. I mean, I'd say probably like probably if any misses. It's just if you want to consider any, it's probably like the songs of like anyone just like. Hopefully the past made me better, but no assumptions. I only hope one day it makes sense, even when it doesn't. Didn't um. One day it make sense. Uh, till that day I got I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, baby, need some new shoes. Didn't really like it. Listen to a lot. It's probably not the most stream it's probably the lesser stream songs like the ones that are more mainstream or like the ones that are closer to the 2000s side of style music so uh, yeah. so that is my full rundown yes thank you for watching subscribe like shiz friends y'all have a good day peace